in television. I don't think a label like Nihilism can be avoided, at all. If your art is even slightly gritty or dark, it would latch onto it, whether it's a film, a TV show, or a book. All throughout history, nihilism has been a slur. It's been used to describe things that are considered grotesque, anarchic, suicidal, and dark. No. And that's left it murky Ever and since Kierkegaard, every so, existentialist has fought against, against nihilism, one way or another. For Kierkegaard, nihilism can be defined as the loss of individuality, and his whole philosophical project can be summed up as an effort to promote subjectivity. And it usually For plays Nietzsche, out the same way too. And he did all the rebellious he could to fight the devaluation of values. Of their world, if you want to get acquainted Jesus with nihilism, you should read Torah, who knows no better than Divorce. passively oh, accepting sorry, life. That, this position can be called oh, God, nihilistic yeah, consent. Even for all his there, praise of suicide, true. it is his passivity that stops him from committing suicide, not his active life-affirming attitude. I think he fails to realize that all suicides have... Firstly, the overarching nihilism in Black Mirror finds itself in the show's formal structure. Black Mirror is an episodic anthology, which means it switches Alien cast and precisely what and Tora episode. rejects. And this is a different writes, approach from a show like 20, American Horror Story. We rage the against stories. the heavens out, and the filth too. they hide. Then we grow tired of it. The tragic attitude suits only an extended and ridiculous I puberty. Think Black has four in contrast to this attitude, Camus wrote Wait. the myth of Sisyphus and the rebel to argue why rebellion is the only proper response to the absurdity of life. 